Here I will show you a step by step process to install Raspberry and Linux into Raspberry Pi and uh, use the OS without external monitor and um, keyboard. So, first we will format this uh, our Scandix. Uh, for this, I use Scandix uh, formatter. You can find this easily uh, in the inter internet. Just Google it, download it, and format your um, Scandix. Then I go to raspberry raspberrypi.org slash download and download the Raspbian OS. Then I use uh, Win32 Disk Imager to uh, install the image to the disk. You cannot just uh, you cannot just copy paste or extract the file to the disk. It will not work that way. So you should uh, you should download the Win32 Disk Imager. You can download it easily from Google. I mean by searching Google uh, and use this software to install the image. Now we will go to the control panel, network and sharing center. Here we should see both uh, LAN and wireless LAN. If we do not have uh, LAN, then we should create uh, the uh, local area network connection uh, because Raspberry Pi is connected with the LAN and uh, internet is connected through wireless uh, uh, in our computer that we are using now. Uh, so, so uh, sorry, this should not be configured. Uh, here we will go to the properties and then IPv4 version, uh, Internet Protocol version 4 properties. Then here it should be click, clicked uh, as uh, obtain IP address automatically. Okay, press OK. Yes. Now power up your Raspberry Pi and connect it through the LAN port through, uh, through RJ45 cable and go to the command port, type ipconfig and enter. Then you can see the IP address of our net network adapter of our computer is this one 169.254.77.34. Then power up your Raspberry Pi and Take out the scan disk and put it back in the computer. Then open the scan disk. Then even the scan disk for uh, scan disk, the boot. Uh, I mean the main folder, the boot folder. You will see a line. You will see. You will see a file. Command line .txt. Open the file and at the end of the line, write IP is equal to. You should write it in the same line, not in the second line. So write IP is equal to 169.254.77.20. I uh, I write it because I I, uh, I I write IP address in the same class of the IP that we got from our um, IP config command in the command prompt, then double colon, then write the. If you if we if you don't want to use the internet, then we should stop here. But if as we want to use the internet of our uh, of our main computer, we should write the IP uh, uh, IP address double colon and write the IP address of our network adapter. Then close it and save it. Now we will need two software to establish SSH connection to our Raspberry Pi computer. First is Xmin. We will Google it and download it and install it. Then another is Putty. We will Google it and click the third link and download it. Putty is mainly for establishing SSH connection and Xmin is is uh, for using GUI of the computer that we are connected. Now safely remove the uh, scan disk and put it back again in the Raspberry Pi computer. Um, power on it and connect it, connect it through the LAN uh, uh, through RJ45 cable. Then ping the Raspberry Pi computer. In 169.254.77.20, we can see that it is working, it's connected now. Now, open XMing 
run the xmin you will see at the right hand corner that xmin xmin is now running then go to putty run putty and then here i have already saved the configuration file so i am loading it but what you need to do uh, in fact you need to uh, type the ip address of the raspberry pi because we are we are connecting to raspberry pi through ssh here you will write the uh, ip address of the raspberry pi and make sure that in the ssh xx1 tab uh, the xs1 this checkbox is checked now I, I i i have just saved the new configuration and then load my configuration file and open it and we can see the command prompt here we will log in as pi and our password is raspberry then we type lx session that will initiate the graphical user interface of our raspberry pi os here we can see the gui we will kick the midori that is the browser of our raspberry pi os and we can browse we can check email whatever we wish it is using the internet of our main computer here we will, i will i just type google and you can see i can search whatever i want and uh, i'm closing it now i will go to the putty and uh, press control c from my keyboard that will kill the present task and uh, that's it that's how we will use the raspberry pi os thanks for watching my video